Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today, I'm just trying to minimize glare. I have a reduction extension stamper from GP Stamping. Now, I purchased this from a group buy on Facebook. Um, I'll link them down below for the Facebook group. Um, but you can also purchase um, directly from GP Stamper. Um, I'll link their Instagram and I think you contact, you message them and then um, you can talk to them via WhatsApp and you can purchase. They don't have like a website or anything. Um, but yeah, so they, they're on Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp. So... I haven't used this yet. Oh, that's very cool. So I actually haven't even looked at this yet. One sec. Okay, so I haven't even, I haven't opened it or looked at it. I just, so this is my first look. So you get a scraper card. So if you want, you can scan, pause and scan. So very nice. And I like this as well. So it, it'll tell you what size that you can make it. And it's got the measurements on here. So that's very cool. I saw, I saw Gailene had something similar to this um, and she used it for, um, I think she was making a deco like a, a water deco or and so she used it to cut out to figure out okay which nail and she used this as a template she used something similar I think it was a different company um, but I'm like oh that's very cool I want to research and get one so very pleased with that so um I guess there's Spanish Colombian something so I don't know okay so this is the stamper oh and I did purchase two heads separate so that's how they were packaged so which is kind of cool and they're they're sparkly I don't know if you can see it's very sticky so I figured since I was buying it I would get two stampers just in case I wrecked one. <laughs> I don't plan on it, but you know, just I, I I accidentally ripped one of my stampers the first day I got one of them, and um, I don't want to come and do that again. So this is what it looks like. So I'm assuming. You turn it so if I unroll it all the way I'm just experimenting right now okay so that's how the stamper goes in and I guess this is the little head I don't want to break it that pushes it in So, oh. so I'm going to do it so it's kind of flat. So I have some paper. <laughs> so we're going to, we're going to play. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Just trying to get everything out of my way so I don't mess things up. And what I'm going to do, um, I have been really bad. Um, I've gotten three maniology, um, my Manny by me boxes, and I haven't played with any of them. I I keep getting them, and they're sitting on my shelf, and I just haven't. I like them, but I just haven't played with them. Like I haven't had any inspiration. So. Um, 
yeah, I've, I've slacked. So we're going to play with, I think this one is, so the weather one was the first one. So that was that I received. So that was March. I think this is April's. And then my last one is May's. So it's just the, the, the space one. But I want to kind of play with this image because I really liked these little portraits. I thought they were really cute, but like it's not going to fit on any of my nails. Maybe my thumb, but you know, if that. <laughs> So I've never played with this. I've watched one lady's video. There's not a whole lot of videos out there on this. I've normally um, have shrunk images. Um, I'll show you quickly how I normally would. So I would take... So normally I take this stamper hat because it's um got a hair on it because it's not opaque and I put it here and then I pull down and then stamp on it and then voila oh see this is torn damn it <laughs> See, I break stampers apparently. So that's how I normally do it. And I have a few videos on how I've done it. Um, but I saw this group buy for this one and thought, wow, I would like to try that. So, okay, are we set up? I don't even know why I pulled out my other stamper. Okay. I'm using my She Modern Sticky Stamping Polish. So let's do this one. Sorry. There's fuzzies there. Okay, so I picked up. So there, so that's good. So now if I squish it more, let's do the same image. And then I guess if I release it, so I made it made it more small. Maybe I should just do it on the blank piece so it's easier to see. So let's do. I did it a little bit more and I think that's as far as I can go so so and you can totally I'm sure Get rid of whatever kind of images you don't want. I, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I just want to try and play with. 
So I was thinking. So that's regular size. So let's try. I should have released it and then done it, I think. So it does make it smaller, but I'm just, so, I don't know, <laughs> let's do this guy. So I picked it up. So now, so I think that makes it bigger doing it that way. So there. So that made it bigger. Okay, so that's how you make it a little bigger. So that's cool. So let's try let's try making one of these bodies. We'll make them bigger. So So I'm just going to take everything off the stamp holder. Let's make one of these girls fluffy. line there so I want to get rid of that I don't know what's down beside her oh there okay oh I made her tiny look how tiny she is Look how tiny she <laughs> Okay, so that was making her tiny. So now we need to, I think, push it up. And then we'll do her again. So that's normal size. So how did I? So I'm gonna do that. Sorry, I can't remember how I did it. <laughs> so I'm like, how did I make a beggar? Try her again. Get fuzzies there. Oh. Well, I made her tall. Okay, so I shrunk her, then that's normal size. 
and then I made it bigger. She's taller, but not necessarily wider. I mean, she is a little wider, but that's cool. Okay, so you, to make them bigger, you have it down, pick it up, and then go up high, and then stamp. To make them smaller, you have it up high, you stamp, and then you go down, and it will shrink. I think that's right. Okay, so let's, let's get a new cotton ball. I think we got it. I think I got it. So, we're going to do her... So that's just gonna. Okay, so normal. stuff off just to kind of minimize okay and then we push it up now so I made it bigger so now we're gonna leave it up clean off that I'm just doing the little girl or the woman girl just because it's easier to see the difference. And it's not so busy. Okay. So now we're going to release and then <laughs> look so normal bigger smaller well that's kind of cool okay I got it down so just so, normal, you just leave it the way it is. You stamp, that's good. So when you want it bigger, so you stamp on it, turn it up, whoops, ow, ow. Turn it up so you've got a bump, then stamp, so that makes it bigger. And then to make it smaller, have the bump up, and then stamp, and then go down and then that will shrink it. So, voila, yay, I figured it out. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut this video off as is because I figured it out and I wanted to introduce uh, this stamper to you uh, and I wanted to check it out as well. Um, but yeah, it, um, it was pretty cool, so. So in order to replace your stamper head, I'm assuming you just push it out and it uh, can be replaced. So, but this is pretty cool. I like this. And it's got the nice cover on it to protect it. 
So that is the GP Stamping Reduction and Extension Stamper. And I kind of like this as well because you can probably put it on and give yourself a guide. And like I said, I saw um, Guileen uh, 325. She had made some fluid art, which that's what I'm going to have to use this. And then she made decals out of it. And then so she put this over top, cut it out so she know what... Um, how big to make it for her her finger so if I wanted to do so what size and it's got all the sizes in millimeters so which is nice so very cool and then you got the stra scraper card um so yeah so thanks for hanging out with me while I play with this and um I will definitely be using it because I I kind of want to do some designs now um because i have a lot of images that are bigger and you know i've cut my nails down so they're a lot shorter and i want to be able to to reduce them or even actually make them bigger you know because sometimes when you get really teeny tiny images so anyway enough babbling um stay tuned for i'll have pictures of everything i will have links to gp stamping down below so if you're interested you can go and check it out and then i'll have um a link to the um facebook stamping group that um has the group buying they do a bunch of different group buys through there and the lady who runs it dawn um, I was a little kind of nervous. I've never done a group buy before. Um, but she kept everybody um, up to date with what was going on. I think ours was a little bit delayed because there was something that was missing from the... Um, but she let everybody know that it was being delayed. So it was not a big deal. I did pay quite a bit of money. Like with shipping and buying the product probably I'm, I'm thinking like 60 bucks Canadian or a little bit more because it's because I paid in US so with with exchange and stuff because I'm Canadian so it was expensive for me to buy but I thought it was really cool anyway stay tuned for pictures and watch photos and of course puppies okay Love you guys, and remember, be someone sparkle. Bye! Oh, you got one too? Okay, good girl. Seating time. Bubbles. <laughs> Who are you barking at? Come here. No. Yeah. Bubbles. Come on, let's go see the flowers. Come on. Yeah, that's right.
Yeah. Daisy, get out of there. <laughs> Are you yelling at the neighbor dog? What are you doing? Pedro! <laughs> Pedro! Pedro! <laughs> She's like, mine! Fighting over the stick. Oh, Pedro got it. The tail's pretty hard done by. 